Hello everyone, so today's video is all about this small lens, the 50mm lens, we all know the 50mm lens, uh, 1.8, f1.8, and uh, if I show you now uh, these three photos, I think it's hard to guess that all of these photos were taken with a 50mm lens, and I'm saying that because as you can see, all these photos are wide enough, way more than the 50mm. And this is the subject of today's video. At the beginning, I just want to say that some of you may not like or not accept what I'm going to say or to do right now, but just relax and uh, let me explain why I, li why I like to make that with the 50 millimeter lens. All of you know that the f-stop of this Nikkor lens, the 50 millimeter lens, is 1.8 and there are also lenses 1.4 or 1.2 also. But my lens here is 1.8 and this is the reason number one for me because I want a blurry background. All the photos that I have just shown you, I had a blurry background in that photo and that's what I want. I want a blurry background and without a small f-stop, I couldn't have a blurry background. And the reason number two is that I want a big scene or a wide scene more than the 50 millimeter. And that's why I take a lot of photos. I want something more than 50 millimeter, something, for example, like a T millimeter. But at the same time, I want a, a small F number, which is 1.8. And let me explain this in this photo here. I was standing right here and I wanted to have two things in this photo. The first one, I wanted to have a blurry background. As you can see, obviously the background is blurry and at the same time I wanted to have the whole scene as you can see here. Uh, if I want to have the whole scene with a 50mm lens, that means I have to go back a little bit and as you know if I went back that means I will have, I will lose, I will lose the blurry background because whenever you go back uh, the depth of field would, would be narrow that means uh, the background will not be blurry anymore and that's why I have to stand near the seat and take a lot of photos to have a blurry background number one and to have the whole scene number two and I will show you the number of photos which I made this photo from I will say from here as you can see this is the 50 millimeter lens now and I was standing near the seat just to have you know uh, the focus to be on the seat and the background would be blurry background and I have to take let's start from here one two So 23 photo, I, I made 23 photo to have this photo at the end and as you can see if I click the crop tool, now you can see the whole photo. I made it yeah, 16 by 9 or you can make for example, I, I am free to choose what I want. I can make for example 4 by 5 and yeah I think I choose 4 by 5. Yeah, and if I made 4x5, I can have the whole photo like here, as you can see. And yeah, as you can see, the, the scene is so wide and I couldn't make something like that with a 50mm lens. That's obvious. And this is another example, as you can see, this is the 50mm lens now. And I was focusing, as I remember, on this tree here. And as you can see, I have a blurry background and also a little bit blurry foreground and I took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I took eight photos and I will show you how I can easily select all of them and edit in merge to panorama in Photoshop. So this is the last photo after merging the eight photos together and I can now crop it as I want. I made it like this and so this is my final photo and as you can see I have 
also a very wide scene and I couldn't have this scene with a 50 millimeter lens and at the same time I have a blurry background and a little bit of blurry foreground so my concentration would be only in this area here and this is what I wanted to have so this is the third and last example I took this photos three years ago or I think two years ago and as you can see now this is not the 50 millimeter lens this is the final photo I made from one two three photos so this is the photo in the middle and I took a photo to the left the photo in the middle a photo to the left and a photo to the right to have the whole scene because I wanted to have the seat obviously but I wanted to have also this space here from the right and this tree here from the left I I just yeah I wanted to have all the scene like that and I couldn't make it with only one photo with 50 millimeter lens and if I could make that I will lose the blurry background as I said because when I want to go back uh, the depth of field would be so narrow because the subject is not uh, near the lens anymore and when the subject is far away from the lens the background will not be blurry anymore and the funny things about these three photos is that I didn't use any tripod while I was taking them because yeah you know um, f-stop 1.8 or 2.8 my shutter speed was fast enough and I didn't uh, need to use any tripod so that that was so fast and so easy what are the advantages of taking photos like that I think the first and most important one is the printing if you care about printing your photos and you need a large size of the print as you can see this is this example here I have this photos which I made as I said from eight photos and if I came here to the photo as you can see here it's 544 megabyte which means you can have a very large uh, print from this photo and i think there's only one disadvantage of taking photos like that when you are on the location you have to be sure that you don't miss any inch when you take the photos because when there's yeah only a small a small space not in this photo and not on not on the second photo photoshop will not be able to to stitch or merge the photos together and you will have a problem when you want to merge the photos to panorama photoshop will not be able to do that so that's why i always try to take a lot of photos just to be sure that i don't miss any small area from the first photo and the second photo so thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed and you came across new informations you like the photos and you want to see other videos in the future please subscribe and see you next week bye Thank you.